Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, I'm the Offbeat Collector, and I love stuff. And one of the kinds of stuff that I love is Squishmallows. So today, I'm going hunting for Halloween Squishmallows. So we're gonna hit three stores and see what they have. And first, we're going to Walgreens. Let's go. So as soon as I walked into Walgreens, I saw Squish. They had several large Squishmallows right up front, right above the shopping carts. I really love this little blue guy. I think he's supposed to be a billy goat. I did record all the plush that I saw in the store, not just the Squishmallows, because if you're like me, you love all plush, not just Squish. I really want that Christmas Snoopy, but my eyes were on the prize of getting Halloween, so I was trying to stay focused and not get too distracted by the other cute things. Um, I thought these Minecraft plush were cool. I've never seen these before. Um, it does feel like they're trying to copy Squishmallows. They are Qtopia plush by Mattel. I think they're trying to make their own versions. These, I had to buy some. They are Marvel cutie cuffs. I love Marvel stuff, especially Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, so I had to grab two of these to take home with me, and you will see me open those at the end of the video. They do have Beanie Babies at this Walgreens. I didn't see any I had to have, but I had to film them because if you've seen any of my videos, you know I love Beanie Babies. They did end up having several Squishmallows on the seasonal aisle where the Halloween decorations are supposed to be. So I do end up finding some stuff that I was pretty excited about. I thought that little Malrose bird was super cute. Um, they had this owl. He's Halloween. I couldn't find his tag very easily. I was gonna show his name, but it was hiding. And then they had this cat pumpkin, which was a flip -a mallow I'm not huge into the flip -a mallows but you'll see at the end of this video, I do end up buying some because I couldn't help myself in the end. Um, but I didn't buy the ones that I saw at Walgreens. I did have to grab these little clips. They were too cute. Couldn't leave them behind. That's all they had left, so clearly they had already sold several because that's all that was left in the boxes. Um, I think that's supposed to be a cat, maybe? Cute little nose on it. Uh, they had these little fall guys. They were super cute, but I was trying to be picky and not buy everything because of course I want everything, but I tried to be a little, a little more picky. I did have to get Hans the Hedgehog. He goes in my pile. I did not get a cart because I didn't think I'd find a lot of stuff. So you see, I just kind of piled him on the display behind me because I knew he was going home with me. They had a vampire. Lots of different things. They had these Spider-Man that totally looks like he wishes he was a Squishmallow. Lots of cute stuff. Too many things. Too many things. I want them all if I'm being honest. And I did find some Squishmallow treat bags hiding above the candy, and I wanted to make sure I filmed those so that you could see where they're hiding at in case they're hiding in the same place at your store. And then they had this end cap, and they had this giant milk for Santa Squish, which was pretty cute. Okay, guys, I did great in Walgreens. I got five new Squishmallows and two mystery toys. So I'm going to call this a successful day, even if I find nothing else. But I said three stores, so we're still going into more. So now we're going in Walmart. Let's go. The first thing I spotted as I walked into Walmart was this end cap of front porch sitters. They are large, stiff plush that are meant for display and decorative purposes. And I do have a lot of the Nightmare Before Christmas ones, but I was really tempted to get that Beetlejuice sandworm. I thought it was amazing. I might have to go back and get one of those. I did end up finding this one display full of the very large Halloween Squishmallows. There's several guys in the bin, 
but there is nothing that I was super excited about. Let me know in the comments if you would have took any of these guys home with you if you ran across them. The bat dressed as a candy corn was definitely the one I was most tempted to buy, but like I said, I'm trying to be picky and not buy everything. I thought these plush were super cute. They were in the card section of Walmart. I definitely thought they were adorable. And then I did find some regular Squishmallows over in the toy section. They had a few I hadn't seen before. I was really tempted to get the Ladybug. And then there was a yellow Axolotl that I was tempted to get because it was super cute. But like I said, I got to be picky because I already have a lot of stuff. I did have to film these cute little Pokemon. I was really tempted to get the little Pikachu to go with my Pokemon plush collection. But I was trying to maintain focus. Halloween Squishmallows were the goal. But I had to show you these in case you want to look for them in your Walmart. Okay guys, there was plush in Walmart, but nothing that I had to have. So I just ended up buying some Hot Wheels cars in there. And now I'm gonna go in Kroger, which depending on where you live, you might have it called something different in your area. But here it's a grocery store and they usually get a lot of Squishmallows. So I'm really hoping they put their Halloween ones out. Let's go look. So I'll just tell you now guys, Kroger did not disappoint. They did not only have lots of Squishmallows, they had Squishville, they had Squishmallow house shoes, they had Squishmallow notebooks, everything you could imagine with Squishmallows, they had it here. I was really excited to dig through all these Squish, some of them I had seen before, a lot I had not. As you see, the shelves looked really empty, but I found this one little monster sitting over there, and I was like, I don't know where you came from, but I need you. Then I found this little monster mixed in with the regular guys. Had to put him in the cart. I love that they had the giant banana. Um, I do want to get a small banana Squishmallow eventually, because I think they're really cute, but I just don't have room for the giant ones unless they're holiday-themed or something I absolutely love and must have. So, like I said, try to be picky. I try to be picky because I know if I was just buying everything I wanted, I would definitely buy way too much. So, yeah. So, I finally realized the top shelf is where the Halloween Squishmallows were hiding. I was wondering where these one random Squishmallows were coming from. I would find one pumpkin, one monster just in random spots. So I realized they had them hiding on the top shelf. And I was kind of curious why, but I just kept digging through the bins and figured I'll see what other Halloween ones I find. And if I need to get somebody to help me get stuff off the top shelf, then I would do that in a minute. So I continue to dig. And when I walk around the corner, I see a sign and they were having a two day sale. 50% off Squishmallows. So that's when I realized they had put the Halloween up at the top because they didn't want people buying the Halloween Squish for half price. So I walked down the card aisle and saw these super cute plush spiders, which were so adorable. And then they had these little keychain clip plush, which were also very cute over in the card section. And so yeah, I ended up going and finding an employee and asking him to get me down one of all of the squish that I wanted and I filled up my cart. So I was pretty pleased with my haul and now let me show you everything that I bought that day. So I only mentioned going squishmallow hunting, but I did stop by a Dollar General just because I knew they had these plush slash blanket sets, buy one get one free. So I did get this Winnie the Pooh set because I thought he was pretty cute. And then this blanket is too adorable. And then I did get this super cool stitch picture to put on the wall. And then I did get the Minnie Mouse set, which came with the pink fluffy Minnie Mouse blanket. So that's what I bought at my first store. Let me show you what I bought at Walgreens. The first thing I had to have at Walgreens was these Marvel cutie cuffs. Um, I've never seen these before, but I do collect a lot of Marvel stuff, especially Gardens of the Galaxy. So I'm really hoping to get a Groot and a Rocket. 
And I did kind of cheat with these. You can kind of see through the top what you're getting a little bit. So I'm really hoping that I did manage to get a Groot and a Rocket. I'm going to open those at the end of the video. And then I got this cute little bat clip. This is Carly. She is absolutely adorable. And then I had to get the tiny little pumpkin spice guy. This is Lester. This little clip was way too cute. I had to get that to go with all my pumpkin spice plush. The next squish that had to come home with me was Joldy. Is that how you say that? Interesting name. I just thought it was a beautiful bat. I love the shininess under her wings and ears and this fuzzy belly. So cute. Had to have that one. And I tried to tell myself I didn't need this crab. This is Kaylee. But she was just so cute. Um, my, my husband likes the crab squishmallows. He does collect a lot of crab things. And I thought this one was a little girly, but it was so cute as a little pirate that I figured, you know, why not get it for the Halloween collection? Had to get that one. And the last squish at Walgreens I could not say no to was this Super Hans. Um, another one of my husband's favorite squishmallows is the Hans the Hedgehog. So I do try to pick up any different kinds of cool Hans that I find. So this large Super Hans had to come home with me for my Halloween collection. And then I went to Walmart. And at Walmart, I didn't love particularly any of the Squishmallows they had. Let me know in the comments if you would have bought any of the Squishmallows that were at Walmart. I wasn't a huge fan of the Squish that they had there. But I do also collect Hot Wheels cars. And they did have this complete new set of X-Men cars. And, I mean, a lot of times you can't find one through five. So I could not resist picking those up in Walmart. And then the last store is where I found way too much awesome stuff. Let's look at what I got at Kroger. I may have gone a little overboard at Kroger, guys, because these Squishmallows were ringing up 50% off. So I may have got a few more than I necessarily needed. But, I mean, we do all need Squishmallows, though, right? That's a need. Um, this is Callum, the green monster. He has a fuzzy belly. He is absolutely too cute. I had to have him. And then we have this little guy is Ernest. And he is also adorable. And he has the fluffy belly as well. And he also has a unibrow. So he was just absolutely too cute. And then... The last big monster that I saw up on the top shelf trying to hide was this guy, and his name is Mr. Orlin. And if you look at this tag, it says special edition. So not sure what that means, but I say it's a good thing because I love him. He's super cool. I had to have the complete family of monsters. And that's, of course, not all I bought. Let me get the little ones out, too. So these are the smaller, I would say, maybe they're like 8-inch squish that I got. Um, of course, I did pick up the small Hans to go with the big Hans from Walgreens. I couldn't resist since he was half price. And then we have Cleo. And Cleo is a black cat with this amazing witch hat. And she's holding a little potion. I could not resist this little cat squish. She's adorable. And then we have Kara, Kara, guess it depends on how you want to pronounce it, but just an adorable candy corn dressed up as a devil. I have the plain candy corn from last year in the jumbo size, so I had to have this little dressed up as a devil candy corn. And then once again, I had to get the pumpkin spice. This is the larger Lester, like the clip I got from Walgreens. But I just had to have him to go with the Pumpkin Spice Builder Bears. We need all the Pumpkin Spice guys together. And then next, let me show you the Flippamallows that I bought. So normally I'm not a huge fan of the Flippamallows because I have a hard time choosing which side I want them to be on. It feels like I need to buy two just to have both plush. I don't love the idea of it one plush being hidden all the time. So I don't love flipping mallows, but these were so cute and they're the only way you could get these guys. And they were half price, so I could not say no. So first, 
we have Mary Posa and Morrison cauldron who flips to a witch. I'll flip them to the other side in a minute, but look, there's a bat wing coming out of the cauldron, a little spoon, super cute little guy. Um, and then we have this totally amazing Cara to Dante and Dante is my husband's favorite Halloween Squishmallow. So I had to have this Dante and he has a fuzzy belly, which just makes him even better. And then we have this guy who is Callum and Eugene. So I definitely wanted the small Callum to go with the big one, but I'm probably going to have to leave him turned into Eugene because Eugene only comes in this small flip mallow size. So yeah, it's hard to decide which ones they want to be. So I'm going to turn them inside out and show you the other sides. Here we have Mariposa, the witch. I love her purple dress. I think she is a super cool witch squishmallow. And then we have another Cara candy corn. So I'll definitely leave this one flipped as Dante, but I had to show you what it looked like on the other side. And then we have our, what was his name? Callum. It's hard to remember all their names. There's so many of them, but I love them all. And he has a fuzzy belly as well. Little fluffy eyebrows, super cute. If I could have got two of these guys, I would have, but I only saw one in the store. And then I did buy one Squishmallow that was not a Halloween Squishmallow. So I'm going to show you that and then we're going to open those mystery toys. And then I think this video will be done. So this is the one Squishmallow that I had to buy that was not Halloween. I saw this guy and at first I thought he was a slug. And when I scanned him with my app, he came up as a bookworm. And I was like, that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. So I had to get this little bookworm. Um, his name is Christian. And he's going to live in my library with all the books and the stuffed animals that live in that room. Because, I mean, who doesn't need a bookworm living in their house with all their books? I mean, he was just too cute. I had to have him. He's got that fuzzy belly. I just, I love everything about him. Let's open up the mystery toys and see what I got. Okay guys, we're gonna open up these mystery toys and see what I got. The goal is Groot and Rocket. Um, they are my favorite Marvel characters. Groot, I am obsessed with. I have a very large Groot collection. I have a very large Guardians of the Galaxy collection. Um, I do plan on making videos to show off that stuff eventually. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe. We've got number one unwrapped. Let's see what it is. If I can open it. Oh, oh my gosh. Open. Release. This is. Even things like camera. It's embarrassing. Open. I'm going to crack like an egg. Give me my toy. Oh my God. Oh, I got it. Rocket. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys. Yes. Okay. In true 90s fashion, let's. Oh, it's really just a slap bracelet. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ah. Doesn't really work as a slap bracelet because half's the bracelet, half's the bracelet, and then there's a plush in the middle. But he's so cute! I love him. This is one of my new best friends, and hopefully this other one's Groot, and I'm really excited. Let's just open it up. Of course, it shows you on the box the six you can possibly get. We got Rocket. Oh, I hope this is Groot. I hope this is Groot. Um, I do also just want to mention, if you want to see more Squishmallow videos, you should definitely subscribe. I have a lot of Squishmallows. I love them. I have several of the Halloween ones, lots of Christmas, a lot of ocean themed ones. I've got some Star Wars Squish. I love Squish. My dog is messing with my DVD cases. Oh, come on. Groot! Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Yay! Little Groot baby! Oh gosh, he's so cute. Oh, okay. This is amazing. I'm so excited. These are my new little best friends. I just, oh my gosh, I love them so much. I have the magnetic Groot that sits on your shoulder. I have the Christmas version and the regular version. So now I can like wear Groots on both my shoulders and wear a Groot as a bracelet and wear a rocket as a bracelet. Why not? These guys are so cute. Um, if you want to get some of these cutie cuffs, I found them at Walgreens. 
I'm telling you, if you look through these little dots, you can kind of figure out which character you're going to get. I got lucky. I was able to see a little dark brown and a little light brown and figure out which ones I wanted. So if you want a specific character, you can probably figure out which one you're getting. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed hunting for Squish w with me. And if you want to see more videos like that, just let me know in the comments. And let me know, would you have bought all the things that I bought today? Or do you think I bought a few too many? Or is there such a thing as too many? I don't think there's such a thing as too many Squish, right? Or too many plush? I don't think so. Anyways, until next time, guys. Bye.